it's time for math. I hope you're doing well. I keep forgetting to show you that from our lesson last Friday, our little ring, making a ring chain, a chain of rings uh, that turned into a decoration, I decorated in our dining room. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's just, I think it's just gorgeous. One of my favorite words, gorgeous. So I had to show you. Anyways, let's get started. So yesterday, I challenged you to do addition um, by extending further than 10. So today I'm gonna challenge you to do addition, or excuse me, subtraction by extending further than 10. Yesterday we used pictorials. I also said that you could use the number line, but you would have to create a number line larger than 10. So I went ahead and created a number line one through 20, and I did it extremely quickly. And what I did was I took my whole sheet of paper and I just flipped this up and look what I did. I created the number line and I started spaces and the spaces are tight, ending up that there's a lot of space between 10 and 11 and 11 and 12. Does that matter? No, it does not matter. It's not going to make a difference if you have a lot of space. If you are a perfectionist and you like it super perfect, then do it again. If you don't care, leave it. I am a perfectionist. I like to have things perfect, as you can tell. But today, I am going to be good and just say it's okay and leave it. Because it really is okay. It doesn't matter if there's some space there. So I want to teach you that it's okay to make mistakes. Because if we didn't make mistakes, they wouldn't put erasers on pencils. True story. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a quick way to use the number line when adding and then we're going to do some challenge subtraction. So we're just gonna use the problem we have here already. We know the answer, but that's okay. We're just gonna show how to do it. So six plus seven, we're gonna start at six. So I'm going to put my dot, my pencil on the dot of six. I'm actually gonna circle it and I'm gonna do my leapfrog seven times. One, two, three, four, this is gonna be a big one, but that's okay. Five, another big one, six, seven. And remember, I'm gonna stop there and not pick up my pencil until I circle it, just in, so I don't lose my spot. Then I'm gonna go back and count my leapfrogs. One, I need seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I did it right. I started at six, I made seven leaps, and I ended at 13. So all I did was just make a larger number line and it still works correctly. So that's with addition. Now we're gonna do subtraction, but with a challenge. The reason I'm teaching this is because it's always great that if you're understanding addition one through 10 and it's coming easier to you, then extend your brain and make it a little harder by challenging yourself and doing numbers that get a little higher. It's really good for your brain and it helps you prepare for next year. Okay, so now let's do a challenge extension with subtraction. So yell out a number between 10 and 20. Seven is not between 10 and 20. 13, good. And we actually have 13 there, so we'll do that. I'm actually going to write with this just so you can see a little better. And I'll use my pencil for my number line so I can erase. Okay, 13. And give me another number uh, lower than 10. Good, 6. So 13 minus 6. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my little reminder arrows like I did here on this number line that if I'm adding, I'm going this way. If I'm subtracting, I'm going this way. So I'm gonna start at 13. I'm gonna put my pencil here and circle it, so I remember. And I'm going to do six leaps this way. And we're gonna have some big leaps, but that's okay. So here we go, we're gonna start one, two, three, four, five, six, and I stop. And I'm going to leave my pencil there and I'm going to circle it so I don't lose my spot. And I'm going to count my leaps just to be sure. 
I need to make sure I did six leaps. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am correct. I started at 13. I did six leaps. And the answer is seven. I'm going to do a pictorial just to make sure. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I'm going to take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And count how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 13 minus six is seven. And if you look, it's just the reversal of the addition. Six plus seven equals 13. 13 minus six equals seven. So that's called a fact family. We'll learn about that some other time, but that is a fact family. It means they are in the same family. So you just learned something new, a fact family. Okay, so let's do one more. Can someone shout out a new number for me, please, between 10 and 20? 23 is not between 10 and 20. Try again. 19, good. And give me any number 1 through 20. 13, good. That's, that's going to be a lot of counting, which is good. I like that. All right. Thank you for those numbers. So, again, we're going to start at our number 19. I'm going to put my pencil. I like to put a circle just to remember where I'm at. And I'm going to count 13 leaps. That's a lot, so just take your time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna stop, put my circle around it before I pick up my pencil. Do you see how I went slow and steady to make sure I didn't lose my spot? Now let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And notice I'm actually writing the numbers as I count them and not, not just putting tally marks or tick marks so I know for sure that I'm doing the number. So I, I started at 19. I did 13 leaps, so I'm at the right spot. So 19 minus 13 is 6. I'm going to use my pen just so you can see it. And what am I going to do? Of course, I'm going to draw a pictorial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I know nineteen is very close to twenty, so I put ten in one row and nine in one row. Now I'm going to count out I'm going to cross out thirteen. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I knew there's ten in that row, so I go up to ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's see if I have how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six. So nineteen minus thirteen is six. So I challenge you to challenge yourself. If the addition and subtraction problems are still challenging for you one through 10, then you need to keep practicing that. You need to do more than the five I had given you earlier in the week. If you find those easier and you're able to do those, then you need to take this challenge and do the larger numbers, okay? Either way, I want you to do five more addition and subtraction problems and work on those. Tomorrow, we are going to review addition, subtraction, and all the different ways we can do, which is pictorials, manipulatives, uh, number lined, and I think that was it. Yeah. And then next week, we're going to start a new lesson. Tick, 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 talk, 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 tick, 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 talk, talk, talk. No, I'm not going crazy.
Well, I am, but not because of that. All right. Well, I hope you're doing well and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.